Yeah, I mean, the reason I'm in this seat is because obviously somebody's lost lost their, their job because the, the results weren't happening and the performances um, probably weren't getting the results that we wanted. Um, but we all know what a tough league this is, the Premier League, to go and get points in. Uh, but from what I've seen early early doors, uh, certainly on the training ground, is that the quality is there to go and get enough points. And um, the players just need to have that belief now. And I'm fortunate in, in, in the fact that there's not many managers that or head coaches that walk into a football club on their first day on the back of a win. And, uh, you know, this is what, what we've done. Uh, we beat Brentford in, the, in Daniel's last game and we have to build on that now. Yeah, it does, and that's what it's set up to do. Um, I think, you know, Stuart had, had stressed quite early that, you know, the first time, you know, Norwich came up, it was always going to be a struggle, but they've invested into the squad this season uh, on top of a, you know, a, a team that, that cantered to win the, the championship last season. So we believe the quality is there. Um, the mentality needs to be there as well, and we need to go and win football games. Well, it's something that we have to work on very quickly. We know there's there's uh, big problems there if we're the lowest scorers in the English Football League. So, you know, we need to go and create more chances. Uh, from what I've seen already as well, the players want to get in the areas to score goals. Um, we know how difficult it is at this level. Um, you know, especially against the Southampton team who aren't conceding many at all as well. Uh, but defensively, we need to become harder to beat. That was one of the things I stressed when I first came through the door um, you know if you keep a clean sheet you've got a point to start with so we want to start there in, in terms of be becoming a, a team that's hard to beat but with the creative talent we've got we should be creating a lot more chances yeah we've got a fully fit squad at the moment there's only um, I, I think Zimmerman's out for for a while and Sam Byron's uh, playing 45 minutes tonight for the under 23s yeah, I think it's really important. Um, you know, we've got really good backing from our supporters and we want to make, you know, Carroll Road a, a difficult place to come for the opposition and we can start that on Saturday. Although I'm very respectful of, of Ralph and his team, um, you know, they're in a good run of form, they're not conceding many goals uh, and they're a, they're a tough team to play against. Yeah, he's, uh, he's interested me, you know, uh, even before when I was watching from uh, as an Aston Villa head coach. Um, a very good footballer. Um, scored a good goal like in the last game against Brentford, you know, and he's been starring for, for for his country as well. So, you know, I watched the first half of his game uh, in the week against the Netherlands, and then I watched uh, Timu against um, France. So, you know, uh, he's a very good player. Uh, he handles the ball in in any situation, and he's got a great understanding. So, he could be a really important player for us this season. Yeah, no, it, it has to be a lot quicker because, you know, you're, you're straight into games, especially during the season. So, you know, you're looking to get results as quickly as you can. Um, you know, it's important that I get good relationships with the senior players straight away and the, the leaders of the group. And, um, you know, um, I'm quite a sociable guy. So, you know, all the players, uh, you know, in that dressing room will, will find that I will speak to them quite regularly. Yeah, I mean, I've you know had some good results here before. I've had a you know a bad result as well, where I've got beat heavily at Brentford. Uh, we Brentford, we've won with Brentford, and obviously we won in the Premier League last time with Villa, um, five goals to one. So um, you know, got some really good memories. But my abiding memory is always you know the supporters are very welcoming. Um, I want them to be welcoming to to Norwich City tomorrow, but not so much to uh, Southampton. Yeah, they, I think they're fully aware of that. Uh, I think the support that they were giving the team anyway, despite the start to the season, was there. Uh, that's all. That, that's been for all to see. Um, we need them to get behind us because there's only one way that we're going to go and win football games, and that's all together. And that's the supporters, the staff, um, the, the ownership, um, which have been very welcoming to me, myself and Shaky. You know, right from the off, but the players as well. We all need to to pull together and uh, and. The togetherness that we can show can be be our unity and our driving force. Yeah, you just expect that you know uh, that level of adrenaline to be a little bit higher um, because, as I said, when I come in, everybody starts from afresh. Now it's in a, it's uh, two pairs of, of fresh eyes looking at the the squad and the players, and you know people who probably haven't been playing can now sense a, an opportunity to to try and get in, into the team. So. Um, yeah, they've really set a really good first impression on myself and Craig. Yeah, no, 
you know, I haven't got my dog with me here. I'd normally taking him for a walk and having a little think. So I'll, I'll have to have a little wonder on my own. But um, yeah, you mess, the message that you get to the players, I think, can be really important. Um, you know, there's you know much better and more successful managers than myself who have used that period to to get a, an important message across. The likes of Sir Alex Ferguson and Mourinho, people like that. So you know, it's really important that message, the the final message they get before they go out. Yeah, I mean, I always say that that first season when you've been promoted is the hardest season. Um, you know, if you, you survival has got to be the aim for all the clubs that that get promoted. And then once you survive, you can build, um, and that's our that's our our job this season now. Southampton did that, and you can see the how they've built and and become, you know, a sustained Premier League team.